we will have now a presentation by 1001 Inventions, which is an organization, award-winning organization uh, located in the U UK, which is specialized in building up global educational uh, activities and advocacy and popularization of science. 1001 Inventions are partners of UNESCO for the International Year of Light. And they also focus very much on history of, um, of the studies of light and on the story of Ibn al haytham So we will start this part of the presentation uh, first with the movie, and then I will ask Mr. Ahmed Salim, who is the producer and director of 1001 Inventions, to take the floor and speak to us. So, 1001 Inventions. Take a look. If you dare. What's going on? Welcome to the Dark Ages, or as it should be known, the Golden. We have about a thousand years of amnesia, which is called the Dark Ages. In the West, we went through the Dark Ages, and if you like, the, uh, the candle of human knowledge and understanding was carried by the Islamic world. That's the story we want to give. It's like a shock. Ah, inventions? Do these people have inventions, they say? And of course they do. Imagine a world of science 1,000 years ago that shaped the world today. This is a world that was lost to so many people. During this period, it may have been part of the Islamic Empire, but there were great Jewish, Christian scholars working here. Sabian, uh, Hindus, Buddhists. There were Persians, there were Arabs, there were Turks, there were Chinese, there were Indian. There are women who did things like set up universities, who invented scientific experiments, and they're really celebrated. It's just a period in history that people in the West don't seem to know about. This new space is using the historical roots of science as a means and as a tool for social cohesion and cultural convergence, where people respect and harmonize with each other. We produce world-class experiences, global campaigns, visitor attractions, festivals, interactive exhibitions, films, live shows, and learning materials that are being used by hundreds of thousands of educators from all over the world. I love how we can interact with the stuff. It's really cool and I had a great time. Absolutely fantastic for helping my kids learn more about how the Islamic world has influenced modern culture. Very cool. It was really amazing and I love this place. It was so hands-on. Um, all my kids loved how the characters were really alive. It's so cross-curricular. It's just I can't recommend it enough, it's been fantastic. It's a new space, it's a breath of fresh air. So we are having a journey to the past, but it's for building and designing a better future. hoping to be introduced, but I think uh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here among so many distinguished people. Uh, let me get my... I'm 
going to try and be as brief as possible. I know we have lunch coming up. Okay, great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, thank you so much for this uh, wonderful opportunity. The International Year of Light is good news in a time when so much negativity uh, is around us today. It is a, a unique opportunity, as John Dudley has told us, to engage with people all over the world, from all sectors of society, with different themes of science, art, culture, and technology, about the future, about the present, and the past. From the past, we heard this morning many stories of Ibn al-Haytham, and we will also hear later today by Professor Charles Falco on Ibn al-Haytham in art. We've heard different opinions about who Ibn al-Haytham was and what he did. But in our ambitions to be inspired by the past, we must work closer with leading historians of science to help guide us on the truth. And the best ways to interpret history, and this is a major challenge. And if we want to call Ibn al-Haytham, as some have, the father of optics, then we must also celebrate the grandfathers of optics, Aristotle, Euclid, Ptolemy, and let us not forget the sons of optics, Fresnel, Maxwell, Einstein, and here today, the grandchildren of optics. Let us join together in honoring this global family. Let us engage with audiences all over the world and help inspire a future generation of 21st century citizens who will help make this world a better place. Our organization, 1001 Inventions, has partnered with the King Abdulaziz Center for World Culture to create a global campaign that will launch today in partnership with UNESCO and the International Year of Light. The King Abdulaziz Center for World Culture is a pioneering undertaking by uh, Saudi Aramco and it's scheduled to open in 2016. It will house world-class museums, exhibitions and events. The new campaign is titled 1001 Inventions and the World of Ibn al-Haytham. But it's not just about him. It is also about the world of science and innovation that Ibn al-Haytham was born into. It is a campaign geared towards public engagement with a special focus on young people. Uh, some of you have uh, been outside into Hall Segro, uh, which is to your left as you exit this, this conference room. Uh, you will see that we, we've placed highlights of this um, uh, international campaign, uh, which includes a very strange looking it's probably the largest turban you will ever see in your life. I'm not sure if we can get a Guinness Book of Records for it. But that turban-looking uh, structure uh, is actually a, a camera obscura. It's a fully functioning camera obscura that has been built as a tribute to Ibn al-Haytham. We're actually having some problems getting it to focus properly. So I'm, I'm wondering if there are any um, physicists in the room who might, might be able to help us get the optics right. It was uh, set up very late last night. There wasn't much light around. So this morning we, uh, we had a bit of a surprise. Uh, but the campaign uh, includes workshops, live shows, educational materials, and a new website that is launching today, ibnelhaytham.com. We will premiere a new short film, which is for children, on Ibn al-Haytham, um, starring legendary actor Omar Sharif, uh, unfortunately, he could not be with us today because of the passing of his ex-wife a few days ago, uh, so he had to be uh, attending that funeral. Let's watch a short trailer for the film. Let's hope this works. If learning the truth is the scientist's goal, 
then he must make himself the enemy of all that he reads. In the words of Isaac Newton, if I have seen further, it is because I stand on the shoulders of giants. I wonder who those giants were. The quest of every true scientist to truly understand our world. full film will launch, will premiere in a few months' time. Um, I'd like to, in, close, uh, in closing, thank the teams of the International Year of Light and UNESCO, uh, the UK-based Foundation for Science, Technology and Civilization, which is the parent organization uh, to 1001, His Excellency Ambassador uh, El Idris, uh, Dr. Idris from the delegation of Saudi Arabia to UNESCO, who played an instrumental role in including Ibn al-Haytham in the UN resolution for the Year of Light. Uh, the teams at the King Abdulaziz Center for World Culture. Uh, there's also the UNESCO Ibn al Haytham Working Group, which we haven't heard yet about today. We'll hear about them later this afternoon, who are planning a, a number of events this year. Uh, I'd also like to find producer uh, David Pope, uh, the producer of the film we just saw. Uh, but two very special thanks uh, to uh, two really unique individuals, Ms. Mrs. Hanan Dwaydar who is a senior advisor to 1001 Inventions, and John Dudley, without whom we would not have had this great opportunity. Finally, to all international partners here today for the Year of Light, we reach out to you to help us take this campaign global. Please use the materials that we've developed and try and engage with as many young people as possible. Uh, there's one more thing we're going to try um, on the stage, so you're going to have to bear with us. Um, but we have received Ibn al-Haytham tributes from young people all over the world. And we've brought one of those tributes here with us today to mark an uh, inauguration for the global campaign. So if I can ask our student volunteers to wheel him out. We have a model, a life-size model, which is a creative representation of Ibn al-Haytham conceived by a young, pe young person from Jordan called Ali Amro, a young artist. Right, let's hope this works. Please join me in unveiling this model as an inauguration for the launch of 1,000 Inventions and the world of Ibn al-Haytham. Thank you. Come, come, come here, because I did not introduce you before, so I will introduce you after. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. This is 1001 Inventions indeed. And please remember that outside, in halls a year, there is an exhibition that you absolutely must see. Thank you. Thank you very much again.